everybody, this is Manny D here from the Black, helping achieve emotional and physical well-being. This is uh, video part two, video part two of men only, uh, men and mommy issues basically. And um, doing a part two, video be doing a part two on this video because I had someone reach out to me uh, recently, the other day, and they wanted to basically know about someone that they're dating, a guy, and they feel that they're that the person that they care about still you know feelings for, um, you know. If if he if the person suffering from mother wound the mother wound and how that has impacted his life and you know their relationship what's going on and you know some women have seen in their experience that that men that do have issues with their mothers how it has an effect on their relationship and some women think and it's true some men don't treat women better uh, good because they had bad bad a bad relationship with their mother and that's true that can happen. Um, but just because a man may not have the healthy relationship with his mother doesn't mean that it's going to determine or signal or signal or it, it's not going to mean that it's not going to mean that it's, a, it's not going to mean that because I can't talk. Oh, my God. It's not it's not it doesn't mean that he will treat you badly or treat other women badly or distrust you, you know, or fear you because his relationship with his mother is because the thing, the, the thing about it is this now, because his relationship with his mother is independent of you. It was like that before you came in the picture. Okay, keep that in mind. Now, the relationship, the the the, the, the truth is, the relationship that you have with your parents is it does have an effect on all areas of your life. It does if you let it. A lot of people do, like I used to. Do, you let that. I won't say negative energy. You 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 let the unhealthy relationship permeate everything else and have an effect on relationships you have with yourself. And then, therefore, other people, coworkers, people you love, date, all that stuff. And one thing I can tell you is this: is that if you, if a good man has issues, issues with his mom, a couple things can happen. One, he may distrust women; he may treat them like shit, or he may, um, you know, he may look for love in you to fulfill what he's not getting from his mother, his inner child. Okay, and that can happen. Or the fourth possibility is that you know he may acknowledge, which not people don't. He may acknowledge that he has an issue with his mother and be working on that, and still treat you right, and still may try to be aware of what he's doing. Because here's the thing: I am in the process. Well, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be open with you on this. I'm in the process of of healing my inner child from years of love that was not given to me from, from from my mother starting from my teenage years which i didn't i wasn't aware of until just recently and i'm like that's why i'm thinking about it and this is why i've been sad I'm still working through it it's 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 gotten better it feels better there's still some more sadness there but it's still there i recognize that minor child and so when a, when a man has that doesn't realize that he may also look for love in you the woman or if he's gay and his partner or whatever it is to fulfill that from his mother that he's not getting and the thing is if you do that that that's gonna have, that'll have an impact in the relationship it will not i don't say end well but we have to realize that there's not much you can do if you're trying to help them you can't force them to do anything you can give them love what they have to do on their own is realize that they they have to heal their own they have, they have to heal their own inner child themselves and there are some solutions for that. Like I was advised that you know, if 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 they want to listen to this, if they're if you're guy watching this, this may sound a little stupid, silly, dumb. But if you're having problems with your mother to this day and it has an effect on you, you need to heal your inner child. If you don't heal that, what's going to happen is you will end up looking for that love through other people instead of doing it yourself, and you become you can't come off as desperate, dependent, you maybe even codependent. Because you're depending on someone else to give, you, to give you love, your mother won't give you, instead of looking at who you are and going with it. Now, what you can do, what I've done, is literally, when no one's around, when you're by yourself, is literally hug yourself. Like, hug yourself, close your eyes, and breathe. I'm telling you, if you do that shit, it works, you will feel much better. That's one. Number two, you gotta play with your inner child. You have to go outside, go on a swing, do something, color, whatever it is. That's another thing you can do. You also have to... While you're hugging yourself, another thing you can do is tell yourself, I love you, it's okay. Look in the mirror and say this say stuff to you. Imagine giving love to your little boy, to who you are. You have to do that. You have to, have to, have to, have to, have to. Because by not doing this, you just 
further let the wound get worse and worse and worse and worse and fester instead of healing it from within loving yourself and you're in a child because when you can fully love yourself and everything you do then you can truly give the love that's confident healthy to everyone else and therefore when that happens be cool with who you are be at peace with who you are you'll be happy and it won't matter what your mama does because you have healed you resolve the emotional wounds there and you can move on with your life and therefore have healthy relationships with whomever you choose to be with and love and date you want to have family with okay that's what you want you don't want to continue to be running up running up against the same crap over and over and over again and always feeling like you know because if you can love yourself and resolve wounds you can trust women trust your partners trust yourself you won't be mad at them you'll be happy it sucks to be mad at a gender forever because of something that happened to you it's not healthy it sucks it, and it's you want to get rid of that because being hate being hated hate, hating a gender or women or whatever it is it doesn't do anything good for you it sucks balls it just kills you on the inside it's gonna be bad because you come you came from a woman and it's not right it wasn't right that your mom did, did did things to you i get that but you gotta learn to take responsibility for what you've done what you think i feel and go th work through all that so that way you can start a whole new brand a generational cycle of love and healthiness. Now it's a lot. It's a lot for a guy. To, for a lot of guys to say, and if most men are most men, most men when they hear stuff like that, I'm I'm expecting to get some a lot of resistance because unfortunately in our society, at least in America, in North American society, men are allowed to express their feelings, rather be vulnerable. We're not on the stage like this at all. So some men, I'm gonna expect like, God's oh, bullshit. I'm not doing that shit. Well, that's fine. It's your choice. Honor that. And if you want to continue to do that, and get the same shit. Fine. For those of you want to listen. Yo, reach out to me. I'll coach you on this. I'm a life coach. I help people through this stuff because I've been through it, and it's not. It's, it sucks to go through this and not know, not knowing, you know, what's going on, feeling like you're insane, and not knowing how to deal with it, you know, and trying to go at it by yourself, which you can do, but it helps have some guidance to give some tweaks to get through it faster. I like that. I like the snap. But anyways, I'm done. Hope you liked the video. Comment below with your thoughts. Comment, comment, comment. Let me know if this helps you. Like this video and please subscribe to my channel so I can help you and get notified and all that stuff. Anyways, my contact information is also below. Reach out to me. Let me know what you want to do. Love y'all. Get in the black. Deuces. Peace.